Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. You know, much of our population is split into two kinds of people, dog people and cat people. Now, dog people enjoy the loyalty, the playfulness, the hilarious, dopey nature of canines. Cat people, well, I don't know, I can't relate. What I do know is that it's common for people to have several cats and love big, fat ones. How fat? <laughs> You'd be surprised. There are many strange cat breeds that grow so much, you start to wonder, is this legal to own? So join me today and find out more about the top 10 biggest cat breeds. But before we get started, why not become an archivist today by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. If you end up enjoying this video, let us know by giving it a thumbs up. And in the comments section, tell us which cat breed you like the most or would like to own. Number 10. Burmese Ah, the famous Burmese cats. They were bred from a cat named Wong Mao, the first of their entire kind, who was brought to the U.S. and bred with a Siamese in 1930. Unlike other cats on this list, they're actually friendly, curious, and overall pleasant, which could be from their Siamese breeding. Burmese cats aren't enormous, but rather medium-sized cats. They're still heavy, weighing anywhere from 8 to 12 pounds, so you better work out enough to carry one on each shoulder, as they're not solitary cats, but rather love company. Number 9. Persian The Persian cat has its origins where you might imagine, in Mesopotamia, now Iran. They were brought over in the 17th century to Europe by an Italian nobleman who just couldn't resist them. Later, their popularity spread, becoming a favorite for Queen Victoria. They're said to be selective and independent, and also proven to be huge. Females normally weigh up to 11 pounds and males up to 14. They also have health problems like eye conditions and respiratory issues due to their scrunched up faces. Number 8. Norwegian Forest Cat As the name states, these cats' origins began in Norway. This means with its long hair, it's very resistant to cold. Physically, they're similar to the Maine Coon and are quite popular in Scandinavian countries. Females of this breed grow to be around 15 pounds and males up to 20 pounds. What I love most is the pictures of this breed's owners carrying it across their arms, with more cat hanging out of the sides than not. This is a large cat, everybody, in case you didn't notice. They're also big shedders, so forget about black clothing if you want one of these. Number 7. The American Bobtail This cat may sound scary with that name, but you have to keep in mind the fact that there are several variations of the type. There are Japanese, American, and Karelian Bobtail cats. However, despite the many variations of them, they're not actually related. The American Bobtail has particular features. For instance, it has a short or sometimes entirely absent tail, which makes it look very strange. On top of that, they can actually weigh up to 11 pounds as females and 16 pounds as males on average. Number 6. Siberian A Russian feline that's actually good for those with allergies. Finally! This is due to the fact that they produce less fel d one protein responsible for triggering allergies. Overall, this is a strong cat. It's going to be there for you. It'll sit on you when you're upset. It's bulky, it's chunky, and it's reliable. It has a pretty good resume, if I do say so myself. The only thing is, it's kind of heavy. Females will weigh around 8 to 12 pounds, and males will grow to an average of 17 pounds, sometimes weighing even more. Number 5. The Ragamuffin No, you can't pick one of these up at a bakery. It's also much heavier. A ragamuffin is a cat related to the ragdoll, Persian and Himalayan cat, with whom it shares a lot of adorable traits. It takes a long time for the ragamuffin to fully reach its weight potential, which is around 20 pounds. The breed was established as a separate breed in 1994 and are known for their thick, rabbit-like fur. Number 4. Ragdoll Before we talk about how heavy this cat is, I just want to say I fully understand why people get this cat when it's a kitten. It's got blue eyes and silky hair. It's a docile and tranquil cat. In fact, their name comes from their tendency to go limp when picked up. If you didn't know it was about to gain a ton of weight, you'd absolutely melt for this cat. 
on paper, this cat is the perfect pet. Before its fur gets all long and fluffy and gets that older cat look, it's an adorable small bear. Once it grows, though, they can reach weights in excess of 20 pounds. Number 3. The Shawzi Not your average kitty, the Shawzi is a high-priced breed. People will often go to other countries to find them and breed them for profit. Why? They're like the Jennifer Aniston of cats. Except, unlike Jennifer Aniston, these cats are heavy. Males can reach up to 22 pounds. They're jungle cat-looking felines, with whom they definitely share a genetic line. Now, though, they're far enough removed from their wild side that they're quite nice to have around the house, if you're not afraid of a large cat who looks like it could ruin your day, that is. Number 2. The Maine Coon This cat is one of the oldest in North America. It's named after where it was first discovered in Maine, and they're known for being friendly, smart cats. They're the type of cat who is more into playing than laying around being caressed. They're long, tall creatures weighing anywhere between 10 and 25 pounds. Think about that. At 10 pounds, we think we have a large baby, but that's just the starting weight for this pet. These cats love activity, but if you're not careful, they'll get overweight on you real quick. Number 1. Savannah Cat the Savannah Cat is the largest domestic cat breed. However, domestic is an interesting way of putting it. The Savannah Cat was actually created as a crossing of Siamese cats and the African wild cat. It's not even recognized in the UK as an actual breed. Not to worry though, the US loves wild things, so they're perfectly acceptable here in your living room, since you are actually allowed to have it in your house legally. Their size varies widely, but they can weigh up to 30 pounds. They're not fat, but rather sleek, like a small dog. Visually, the Savannah Cat is very elegant, looking more like a cheetah than a house cat. They do have some downsides, like it's going to look at you like a cat that won't text you back. It's also prone to straying far away and praying, but hey, their tastes are no one's business but their own. Thanks for catching this video. Be a cool cat by subscribing to the channel, clicking the bell to be notified of future adorable and interesting videos from us, giving this video a like, and letting everyone know in the comments which of these cats you'd like to have as a pet.